Hey everybody, welcome back to Micro Beer Reviews. Let's have a little bit of fun here. So uh, I usually uh, review beers that are quite frankly expensive uh, or very hard to get. Um, I've done this for over 10 years and I like to do some just fun videos every now and then for a beer that I normally would not purchase or drink uh, and a selection if I had a choice. So I had one of these in my refrigerator that uh, somebody left. It's a Heineken Light. Now this blows my mind when I read this. You ready for this one? It's 90 calories. I didn't think any of them were under like 95. I think Mick Ultra is 95. This one's 90 and its ABVs are 3.3%. I mean, you know, this is, to me, this is water. Um, that is, it's cool that it's available though. Um, I mean, Heineken's been around, I might even be on the bottle here for a long, long, long time. And this one, uh, is a light version of it. It's got, this is great, zero grams of fat, six carbohydrates, zero sh of which zero, are sugar, zero grams are from sugar in the carbohydrate, and actually one gram of protein in here. That, I think that's pretty impressive. And there's a touch of salt. Um, this one, they use um, Cascade hops. I did not know that. That's the only hop they use. Um, and they use a, what they're calling their signature A yeast. So clearly it's some sort of yeast that over the years Heineken has perfected and probably produces. Um, it's supposed to be crisp and refreshing and uh, have a subtle bitterness to it with a clean finish. I love that. Um, okay, this is exactly what I thought it would look like. It's yellowish. It's got some nice carbonation, not too much. Nice kind of thin head on it. I can smell it from here. It smells like Heineken. So um, the joke I have with Heineken is if I'm at a wedding, they usually have like a Bud Light or a Miller Light, an Amstel Light, a Heineken, and I usually drink Heineken if I don't drink Amstel Light. Um, I've never seen Heineken Light though, uh, at big events like that, but you never know. Um, and it's supposed to be, according to the website, the best tasting light beer you've ever tasted. So. Cheers, let's try it out. That is surprisingly good. Wow. Um, it's sweet like I would, the corn sweet is how I describe that, like I expected it to be. It's not sugary sweet. It's more of a, it's a, it's a sweetness that you can tell comes from the brewing process. Um, and it's not like a candy sweet at all. It's actually pretty nice in this one. Um, it's got, more of a of a viscosity than I would have guessed for a 90 calorie beer. Um, it is very crisp. It is very refreshing to drink. It has a very nice finish to it. That is very, that's, that's, that's good. I'm, I'm absolutely shocked. I'm a little bit speechless as you can tell. That is way better than I anticipated. I, and again, it's got that traditional Heineken. Some people call it skunkiness. Some people call it German style. I don't care what you call it. It's Heineken, so get over it and just accept the fact that that's what Heineken tastes like. And if you pick up a green bottle like this, well, guess what? It's gonna taste like this. They've done it for years. You see the red star on there? You know what you're gonna get when you open it up. Um, I ran my beer between one and five. You know what? I would actually buy this. I would, it would, I think I saw on the website it comes in cans. This would actually be a really fun beer to have on the lake, the beach, the barbecue. Uh, cookout, whatever you call it, and it's only 3.3%. You can have four or five of these things and uh, not act stupid and silly um, on a hot day. I mean, I think on the on here it says you could uh, have it with uh, uh, pretzels. Um, had, they had a list of stuff in here. Uh, but basically like salty bar food, this actually would be phenomenal. So um, let me know if, what you think. If you ever tried the old Heine Light, um, the, actually, Heineken now produces a zero ABV beer that I have seen on the shelf in the grocery stores. I'm going to buy it and see if it tastes anything like this because think about that. You could have a zero alcohol content beer for whatever reason you cho choose to drink it. Uh, it's not worth getting into in a video. But that taste, that's better than Amstel, in my opinion. Am Amstel Light. And quite honestly, it's better than Miller Light. But I don't know about Coors Light. I'm a fan of Coors Light, but now I'm rambling. Um, let me know if you tried it. Leave comments down below. Let me know if you think it's refreshing. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you watching. As always, we'll see you again real soon.